Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jail with the shoes. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, we're going to Austin, Texas. What did Vince, uh, Vince Young say when they won the thing? Taking it back to Austin, Texas, baby. You were at that game, weren't you? That was a Rose Bowl. Yeah. I remember when you guys had a good football team. Lang was, <laughs> I remember when Texas used to be good. Uh, we are reviewing from Jester King, yeah. one of my favorite sour breweries. Courtesy of Lane. Courtesy of Lane. Hook them. Uh, this is Gin Barrel Aged Nocturne Chrysalis, I think is how you say yeah. it. And this is one of the cutest bottles it's, I've ever seen. It's so pretty. It looks like a wiener. <laughs> looks like a wiener? I mean, I don't know how many times I've had my pants on. Has anybody off, ever but... seen a wiener that looks like this? <laughs> you should probably go to a doctor. It's sweating. <laughs> uh, this is... This is a... It's Jesus, this is 7.5%. It's not even 12 ounces. 7.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, says beer re-fermented with blackberries and aged in gin barrels. Marion Blackberries. You remember Marion Berry? <laughs> he, was, he brought that too. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone watched our uh, Bourbon County Backyard Ride? Backyard Ride. Yeah. Marion Berries. Lines of Coke off Lines Trippers of Coke off Tripper's <laughs> assholes, apparently. <laughs> uh, Marion Berries from Oregon, go Ducks, were added to mature barrel aged sour beer re fermented to dryness in Asian gin barrels. Unfiltered, unpasteurized, and 100% naturally conditioned. This is seriously, it's 11 ounces, so we have to figure out how to share this between three people. So we're going to give it a shot. Thank you, Lane, for this one. It's a nice bottle opener. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, I was going to say something about this beer, but I just forgot. <laughs> we haven't drank anything tonight. Nothing. I got to figure out. Is somebody going to comment and talk about how uh, you're marathoning beer reviews Maybe. again? I hope they do. Fuck that guy. Oh my gosh, that color, though. Oh my god. That's insane. That I'm try like, I don't know. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah. He's still drinking the last beer, so just put yeah, it he's, off. he's fine. There's a shock in this. Seriously, that's... It's like a little baby beer. It is. It's, this is so random. Like, I feel... Look at that color, though. Seriously, is that going to... I hope it's that comes through. It's grape juice. Yeah, it's like... Welch's purple... It does. It looks purple like... Purple drink. It looks like grape juice. What is it? Blackberries? Yeah. Um, I mean, you can't see through that. There's no head on that, though. And you you talked earlier. You have your he has the back door open, and like I'm flooded with like yeah, because the wind is just jam. coming in. Yep, it's, it you can already smell it from here. But yeah, it looks amazing. That color is fantastic. This that's one of my favorite part about fruited sours is the color. Yeah, um, I just reviewed. What did I just review? Um, see, this is when I like I'm scaring myself. I can't remember anything that I drink. What was the sour beer? Like, it would be cool if you were a bro right now. I'm like, oh yeah, I watched that. <laughs> well, you're being a little vague. There was a sour beer. Oh, uh, the Firestone Walker beer. Slow, Slow Ambic or whatever the fuck it's called. Like, I poured that and I was like, this color is amazing. Same thing happened with this, so. Yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Least on me, huh? That's wow. Wow. Gin. Rolling down the street. Smoking <laughs> in the Sipping on gin and gin. It smells like gin and blackberries. Yeah, I was gonna say if you were like gin and tonic with like, it, yeah, if you were if you're like I'll take a gin and tonic with like a, and not even black like cranberry kind of something with yeah. like that acidic kind of fruit thing. This smells. This does smell acidic. Ridiculous. Like, there's a tartness to this. It's mm -hmm. like super sweet. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I the best way to like describe this is if like you ordered a gin and tonic and said give me a splash of cranberry. Yeah. Just because cranberry is like that kind of. It's not acidic, but it's that like tart, tart kind of yeah. fruity thing, and that's what this smells like. Big nose though, like it this is in your awesome. face. I'm so glad this is only 11 ounces because I really don't want more than this. Not seriously, why the fuck is it 11 ounces? Like, what are we supposed to do with this? I think it's just because they do so little of it. If there was like, off. but if there was eight of us here, what would we do? Well, I think we I would told just, you we would take a drink and then spit it into each other's mouths. <laughs> it's like baby bird. It. It's awesome. <laughs> Seriously, what would we do? We so I did a share with six people where we had um, shake sherry atrial, which is the same, same bottle type, size. Yeah, and we just got out shot glasses and poured into shot glasses. That sucks. So it's like okay, well, take a shot of it. This, this smells, smells fucking it's awesome. It's so forward though. Yep. 
That's huge, Jim. It huge is huge, Jim. For something that's barrel aged, like that would be like getting a bourbon barrel aged stout that's just bourbon. Do you want to hear a gin story? I would love to hear. A Fuck gin it, story. we've been drinking for two gin. days. So when I was in high school, I had a buddy of mine, and his dad was never home. Mm-hmm. So he was like parties were at his house every weekend. Yeah. And he had a buddy with a fake ID, and every weekend he would buy something that Tupac rapped about. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and Jared, if you're watching this, you can confirm this. Uh, so the one weekend he decided to buy, um, what's the what's the gin? Not Bombay. Like Tangeray. Tangeray is gin because Tupac always rapped about Tangeray. Yeah. Literally one of the worst things when you're a 17 year old <laughs> senior in high school that you could ever drink. But we decided we were going to take shots of it all night, oh. and we we chased it with orange all sport. One of the worst I've ever felt in my entire life was the Sunday morning after that, when I had to wake up at like 6.30 in the morning to drive my girlfriend at the time, who is now my wife, to work. <laughs> I threw up three times in my truck driving her to work. Nice. So that's my gin story, because Tanqueray, fuck Tanqueray. You know my favorite part of that story is all sport, because that doesn't exist anymore. Orange all sport. <laughs> orange all sport was our taser, so. Uh, this reminds me of when I took shots of Tanqueray with orange all sport. Sort of. Lane. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, sir. You're welcome for that story, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's delicious. The gin is not as present on, as no, it is on the It blends nose. so well with those blackberries. That's straight blackberries, dude. That is like like deep, like overripe, fruited, like yep. juicy yes. blackberries. I. So we had a conversation before this happened earlier in the night where we heard, or Lane had heard that like it brought the blackberries out even more in this beer. so much blackberry. So blackberry forward. It's funny because the nose kind of smells tart, but it's like, it's so easy drinking. It's not tart. It's not tart. There's like a smidge right in the middle that's kind of tartish. This kind of reminds me of like a Berliner. Like that's when it's really fruited, you know what I mean? Because it's not like crazy tart sour. This is fucking awesome. This is the most blackberry forward like blackberry fruit through the beer I've ever had. So slow ambic that I drank was blackberries uh. and it was like this but a little bit more tart. Okay. So if you can imagine that. But you didn't have like that gin kind of influence on it. Not that the gin is big on this, but just on the nose you smell the gin yeah. and it just, there's like a little bit of barrel on there. To me if I was just sitting and eating blackberries that were like just like sexually sounding exploding in my mouth. Like just let juicy. it explode in your mouth. Just juicy. Like it it tastes juicy. Like this is but there is that gin characteristic. Mm-hmm. Though. It's definitely you have there. like that little like kind of bite. It's in the background the whole time. Yep. It's not forward. It just kind of blends in. Like if they made a cocktail that tasted like this, yeah. it would be freaking phenomenal. You could throw ice in this with a straw. Awesome. And you'd be like top it with like some uh, like club soda or something. Yeah. You'd be pumped. Great carbonation. It's kind of bubbly across the tongue, uh-huh. which it didn't seem like it might be from the way it looked. Yeah, just because it's pretty still in the glass. Yeah. And even when you swirl it around, you're not getting a whole lot of head. It's leaving a nice little layer on my tongue, too. Mm-hmm. This is good. This is really, really yeah, good. Just Jester King makes killer food of beers. I just wish, I mean, come on, there's got to be more beer. Like, you can't, <laughs> what do we do with that? <laughs> That's really good. That little bit of gin, too. Is just like it's, it's just, kind of there. It, that's kind of the finish, though. The gin yep. is how this beer finishes. Yep. But it's not like an abusive, it's like, not taking boozy over. thing. Because if that, if like, if that took over with like in my brain of what I when I drank that Tanqueray, like yeah. I would probably hate this beer. Yeah. Seriously, because I, I hated my life when that happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna this go ahead and say fantastic. this for anybody. It's gonna be few people, if anybody, for people that have had Sherry H roll. I actually prefer this. I this um, this is I like this better than Nocturne Chrysalis as the base beer, mm-hmm. whereas I like H roll Rubicite better than Sherry H roll. I like regular H roll better than Sherry too, but yeah. this is this is awesome. Yeah, this is killer. I kind of wish I would have had this like side by side with Slow Ambic. Yeah, because that beer was That'd awesome. Be- but this has like a little, it's not heat, but it's like there's just something that kind of on the finish, you can taste mm-hmm. that gin barrel in there. Yep. Or that gin kind of thing. And I don't like gin. I actually hate gin. I, fu- I just told you my story. Yeah. I fucking hate gin. I, I don't like it either. But I love is, orange all sport. This is actually, it's kind of refreshing. Yeah. Well, we, another, drink, we drink a lot of stouts. We're, we're hydrating again. <laughs> yeah. That's just what we do. Um, so I gave Slow Ambic a 97, I think. Okay. I'm going to go 98 with this one. I like it that much. I'm gonna go 97. 
It, it's a, it, this is world class. I actually, depending on the day and if I hadn't drank like eight beers before right. this, this might be like a 98, 99. If it's me. like middle of summer, 110 degrees outside, this like you beer. would smoke this beer. This beer. Actually, I'm going to go up to 98. Like this is, this beer is fucking It's really, good. really good. If the only thing, like the only things that I would change for this is maybe a little bit more tartness. Mm-hmm. I maybe I like a smidge too. more carbonation. Yeah, like it's carbonated; it's a little effervescent, but mm-hmm. like a smidge more of that and a smidge more tartness would make this a hundred for yeah. me. But with that said, this is still it's fantastic. Better. I bet you, as this warms up, it even gets like more jammy because it's yeah. like that more kind of mm-hmm. sugary kind of yep. uh, fruit thing because it doesn't have that tartness. But yeah. this is killer, and it's a cute bottle. It's cute. So that's gin barrel aged nocturne chrysalis. I think we're saying that right. Mm-hmm. So Lane. Thank you, sir. Come get a pour. Now he can come drink his If you guys have had this beer, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Until next time. Cheers. We'll see you guys later. Cheers. Thanks, bro. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't be 